Hello, Internet. Welcome to the show. So this show obviously has changed. I don't know if you've noticed. You may or may not have noticed. Um, I'm just doing a quick a celebratory um, a little podcast because we have reached 100,000 downloads. And I thought, oh, that's good. Even though um, I just, you know, gave a complete um, well, revamp to the show. The, it, it's essentially the same. I mean, the I Savalan show, I had to change the name. Because it was taking away from what I Serve Alan actually does, which is music. Um, and this is a books podcast and it's a lyrics podcast. And it's always been that. So even though we've changed the name to Lit Bits, it, now it, um, it, I think it just explains more what's on the tin. Do you see what I mean? So Lit Bits is little bits of literature. So it's little bits of wordy stuff. So that could be actually um, a, a ringtone. It could be a snippet. It could be a sound effect. It could be a book. Um, it could be a song and song lyrics and poetry. So it could be all of these things as long as it's a lit bit. So that's a, a, a literary bit of juiciness. Oh, juicy, juicy literature. Because I'm passionate about literature. I believe in literature and I believe in the power of the imagination and how what words do to the imagination. Well, whether it's, you know, whether that's words that you're reading, whether that's words that you're hearing, whether that's a storybook or whether joy of joy is words that you yourself are making, creating and constructing, you know, there's nothing better than putting some words together. It's juiciness of doing that and how you feel afterwards you know and there is nothing worse than using AI to write a poem for you and then looking at it and thinking oh that's amazing and then putting it up online and then the next day looking at it and thinking god that's rubbish why did I even think that was good it's because you didn't do it there is no job satisfaction in AI so you know this this lit bits um, project which is the same project under a different name with a different umbrella and a, a bit of a different kind of accent if you like um, is all about the the purity of word and and words that I know I did a, I did get um, I had some fun with the Quilmatic Bardinator poems where I did use some AI but let's face it it was comedy it, it was comedy content and AI is absolutely bloody hilarious until until you realise that it's just rubbish, absolute rubbish with stories. It can't do them and it can't do true art either. It can only do um, copies and repetition. It doesn't do anything else. So it's quite good for passing on knowledge, but it's no good at new knowledge. Do you see what I mean? So it's good at research, in other words. It's good at research. It's good at, it's good at fact-finding. But it only fact finds what's in front of it. So if that's a, an arm, a, a CSI scan of somebody's arm, it's it's good with that because it can see what's there and it can make better judgments quicker than humans. If it's um, researching in terms of learning, it's quite good at that. But it'll only, it will only learn what's already there and and put it into bite-sized pieces and regurgitate it, which is good for education some of the time. But it's not good for all education. It's really good for translating. It's perfect for translating. Um, well, no, I'm not going to say perfect because dialects, uh, you know, have nuances. And I doubt very much if AI would be very good at the nuances at the moment because it can only feed itself with what's there already. And really, the only people that know anything about what's there are the people on the ground. Grassroots on the on the ground. So if you want a grassroots on the ground podcast, you're going to have to pop along to my other podcast, um, which is um, is my indulgence, if you like. Um, and it's Elder Essence. And that's all about grassroots granny. And um, I'm, I'm really loving doing that. And it, I guess I am uploading quite a lot in a day. But it's all about the reality, the reality of being, you know, and it is the diaries of a nobody because I am pretty much a nobody. But the nobody is so important now. The nobody is so much more important than the machine. You know, the machine has decided who the somebodies are and they're rubbish. They're utter crapola. N none of this rubbish that they tell me about celebrities and, and what's important in life 
I don't believe any of it. I want the nobodies. I want to mix with the nobodies. I want to hang out with the nobodies. I want to share intellectual thought with the nobodies. Not the somebodies. The somebodies are being fed to us in, in from a pig trough. From a pig trough, let me tell you. Um, so I'm re- completely rejecting it. I'm rejecting it in pretty much everything that I do. Um to use AI, of course, use it. It's a tool, but that's all it is. It's a slave. We must enslave it. And I think it's coming. I really do. But, you know, humans act with their feet. And no one has ever been able to tame humans. They've tried and failed. Hitler tried and failed. Humans are very difficult to enslave. But here's the crux of it. No amount of time, effort and finances will actually help you be successful at enslaving the whole of humanity. You might get little subsets of it. You might manage to get um, people who are weaker, like, you know, women with no power, women uh, or emasculated men, or, uh, you know, if you disempower people with poverty, you disempower them um, by taking away everything that they know, everything they understand, or everything that they love, you know, or by coercing them, um, then you've got a better shot at it. But you won't be ultimately successful because there are people like me in the world who are totally and utterly rebellious and we're on to you. We are on to you and we're going to rebel and I'm doing it from now on. So there we go. Um, So welcome to Lit Bits. I do hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy me spurting. I'm not going to spurt too much on this channel. Mostly this channel is for as I say, books, poetry. Oh, the cat's back again. The cat is back again because I got overexcited. <laughs> he likes it when I get overexcited and definitely thinks it's about all about him. He is no different, actually, to, to AI. He thinks it's about him and he doesn't really understand what the hell's going on. Absolutely the equivalent feline AI. That's just my cat. I'm not saying your cat is the same. All cats are different. Us cat ladies know that all cats are different. Um, but and boy cats are, are particularly different to girl cats, I, I believe. I, in my humble humble opinion, anyway. Today's all about um, music. I did upload a, uh, videos yesterday. We've got an OnlyFans, which is just for fitness and music. You will not. It's all safe for work. You won't find any glamour on my site. I'm not a glamour performer anymore. Um, I'm not sure that I could ever really have qualified as that, even in my murky past. Certainly not publicly, possibly privately, but not publicly. Um, It's one of those um, things where I can have a free video channel and I don't have to pay to host all the videos. So they're on there. And of course, Lounges TV. I'm on Lounges TV, but the videos are two pounds Two pounds ago, and um, today we, because we're focusing on music, there are going to be quite a lot of piano videos up today. So what I, what I've decided to do is one day music piano, one day music cello, one day music viola, and just spend the whole day doing that. One day fitness, and yes, darling, and one day, um, well, I don't know what's left. There are there are other things left. For me, that's going to work best because I'm a multi instrument player. Um, I have to get in a zone with each particular instrument. I have to have my head fully immersed in it to be able to pass on any knowledge about it. Do you see what I mean? So I'm going to start early this morning with piano. We are doing a a prelude. It's a tricky little prelude and I absolutely adore it. If you want to learn um, how to play an advanced piece of music, I I have never played this piece of music, but I do consider myself an, an advanced composer but I'm not an advanced performer. There's a big, big difference. So um, I'm going to be, you know, filming the progress and my techniques, basically, and what I've learned, because I've been teaching a long, long time, um, not uh, on necessarily on piano, although I did years ago. Um, so, yes, I'm going to be um, doing all these videos now, which I, I've monetized. And, you know, monetizing is re- really the only way that I can carry on um, any any part of my my professional career, uh, I can't do anything for free anymore. It's it's not sustainable, and I'm sure everybody finds that. And uh, I'm all about you know the side hustle. So and I can play all these instruments, so it sort of makes sense really. Um, but uh, what's going to be on here in terms of the ringtones and the music? Very little. 
you'll be able to get all the music on Lounges TV and all the music on um, OnlyFans as well. But you can't... I'm Podcast streamers hate you putting music up, so there'll, there'll be no music on here, I'm afraid. Other than me waffling on about music, of course. Um, so that's it for today, guys. And pop along to um, Elder Essence. Oh, cat's gone again. Elder Essence Radio or just Elder Essence. It's coming up all over the internet now. Not to be confused with the book that was published some time ago. That is not my book. Um, so Elder Essence is, is now a, a multimedia broadcasting um, project as part of the Telltale Club. So it's um, it's not a permanent thing. It's, um, it's, it's just part of what the Telltale Club does, which, of course, is an empire now. It's taken over. Um, the the Telltale Club has an awful lot to offer and long may that continue at the very least. But yeah, all about the reality, the real world, the nobodies, the smallness, the minutia, all of these things. Um, life at its very basic core roots. That, my friends, is where the beauty lies as we fight with the devil himself, of course, the devil in the detail. Um, back tomorrow, guys, um, with some, oh, actually back in a minute, because if you look at this podcast, I've just uploaded some free lyrics, public domain lyrics, free for you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Have a listen. This current series I'm putting up, very, very nice, very beautiful and read very nicely for us by volunteers. So there we go. Um, Telteller.club. I, uh, sorry, wrong one. Telteller.telterclub.com. Iserverland.com. Um, those are the big ones. Artbysonia.com is where all the art is. We've got our red bubble now as well, which is just superb. I've gone monochrome for Christmas. Um, so, yeah, well, come and come and join us. Come and um, there's a co- I've put a contact form actually on iserverland.com. And I'm, I'm hoping people will message me about, you know, collaborations or things that they want to talk about. If you're hoping to be um, to, to do a bit of your own publicity, I'm happy to do interviews via Zoom. We can do a, a Zoom link up. That's the easiest way for me. Um, and I, the thing I don't answer to is, um, you know, these uh, companies, these PR companies that aren't proper PR companies, and they're just some bloke on Fiverr who's who's saying you really, you know, we've got this client, and basically the clients just paid them twenty quid a month to get some PR done. I'm not interested in that. Uh, I want to hear from the the podcaster themselves, the person, because I want to talk to nobodies. <laughs> as, as I've said, <laughs> you've got to be a nobody. I'm not a somebody. I don't. I'm not interested in other people telling me who I should think a somebody is. There we go. Um, okay, guys. Bye.